Hello good people of the internet and welcome to 8Bits in the Basement. So this here is an Amstrad CPC 6128. Wonderful little system and it came with a 3 inch, a 3 inch disk drive which um, which makes for <laughs> makes for very fast loading of games and whatnot. And um, I found an awful lot of disk images on the internet for Amstrad computers but I mean these are great you can play away on them using an emulator no problem at all but to put them on real hardware is problematic especially when you only have one disk drive and um, so there is a solution for this it's a program called disk to cdt and what it does is it takes a disk image file and converts it to a cdt file which is um, a file that can easily be converted to audio and played, uh, played through the tape port on your Amstrad. But it won't actually load the game as such. What it does is it loads a little, little program that um, it then uses, or that little program will allow the disk image to be written portion by portion to the 128 kilobytes of memory in the Amstrad, and then bit by bit be written to the disk. So what you end up with, when the program's finished executing is you end up with a disk with the image that you you wanted written to it written to it which is really fantastic because then you can uh, you can run whatever utilities like disk checking stuff and all that kind of stuff or um or simply games that you you'd like to try out or that you had back in the day it's a fantastic little utility i uh, it's been of great use to me and i hope it will be to you also Okay, so I'm going to make a little CDT file from a DSK file. So what I've done is I've copied three of the files that I need into a directory. Um, I've got my disk to CDT, which is the little executable program if, if you like a command. I've got my spacemoves.dsk, which is a homebrew game for the, um, for the Amstrad. And this guy then is to convert it into a WAV file after the little uh, CDT file that I end up with. So what I did was I opened a terminal, which which I've navigated to this uh, directory inside the terminal. And now if I list the contents, I'll see that I have the three files here are listed here as well. So what I want to do is I want to pass the spacemoves.dsk through the dsk to cdt command, which will give me a fourth file because if I run dsk to cdt on its own, well, if I actually ran it properly, <laughs> so dsk to cdt, so it tells me that it creates cdts that rebuild a disk image when run, and it outputs side whatever number dot cdt for each disk side uh, in the image. So when I run this uh, CDT disk to CDT using the space moves uh, disk, it converts it. So it's given us 42 tracks here. So we're going from track zero up to 41. And now when I list the contents here, you see that a new file is after appearing here. It's the site one that CDT, so it's after being created. So here we are. Now the next thing to do is to pass the side one that CDT through this TZX to WAV um, executable. This is a Windows executable, which normally wouldn't run under Linux. So I need to use a uh, wine in order to make it run. Now what is it? TZX to WAV. And then I'm going to pass um, side one through it. Now, so that should create another file up here by the time it's finished if it decides to work there we go so this is after creating site1.wav so all I need to do now is to copy this to my um, to a USB key and I can bring it down to the basement to run it through equally I could just connect this uh, Linux machine the sound, the sound card on it true to the um, Amstrad 6128 and uh, start the, the Amstrad receiving 
uh, a tape, you know, like you would load up a cassette and play this file to it. So the thing is, how are we going to connect our computer to our Amstrad? Well, the Amstrad has, or the Amstrad 6128, the older version at least, has a tape port in the side of it that uses one of these um, thin connectors, something like this, that will plug into the side. And the only connections we're interested in are ground and um, audio. So audio in and ground. And then to connect to the computer, I've got um, I've got one of these. It's a three or a five meter long um, audio cable. So the thing is, we need like the stereo um, left or right. I'm not sure which one, and the ground to connect to uh, to this some way, so that we can plug one end into the computer and the other end into the Amstrad. Now, so really quickly, just to um, to branch those two cables together. In a nice quick way, I've got this little what they call a Max Duino, which is a, a way of um, getting audio files, a bit like the CDT one there across to 8-bit um, to computers. But I'm not going to use that for the CDT that we actually made because um, the, the, disc, the disc image is, um, is very, very compressed and this doesn't have enough sound resolution. Uh, it loses it loses that on the way out so it's fine for like regular games and stuff but for something like that and um, it it's not going to work you, you, you need to have good quality audio device but anyway this guy what i've got on it is i've got um i've got a little bridge between a regular um a regular little audio uh audio uh plug and one of these thin plugs so i'll just i just plug the two in i plug this fella in here and I plug this guy in, whoops, this guy in here, and there you go. I can, uh, I can connect computer to, uh, a big computer to a desktop computer, and I'm in business. So that's the way I'm going to, I'm going to fix that one. So just um, make sure that the old write protection is is turned off so that this can be written to. Insert it into your uh, disk drive. Then we select tape. And then all we have to do is run a program. So I'm going to launch my little site one that was with Windows Media Player. That started playing and the sound is coming through here and this is starting to load loading loader block one so it takes a little while what it's going to do is it loads two blocks then it'll display a status screen then it'll load a little section that gives it information about how many tracks are on the disc and whatever and uh, after that's happened it'll start to load segments of tracks wish the first block of data here and uh, once it's loaded that it'll start writing this information that it's now loading in onto this disk and then it'll empty that and load in the next block and write to the next part of the disk and so on and so forth until um, until the process is complete So here we go, it formats each, each track and then it writes the sectors as it goes. So it's formatting and writing. So we start, there's 42 tracks, it starts at track 0 and goes up to 41. There we go, it's complete. So press any key to reset. Now we can type cat and it finds that there's, there's one little basic program here. So, we'll take this, and we see if it works. Okay, now we go. And we get past the level of nothing. Yeah, look at that, crudely little feckers. 
Okay, hang on. Now, if you had that spell, I'd destroy the entire alien army by sending out more and more of my savage kamikaze into them. Yeah, jump. So now, there's this to CDT for you. I hope you'll find it useful and uh, it's an easy enough program to run and it does definitely have a utility. It is definitely useful. So listen, thanks very much for watching. If you like this video, give it an old thumbs up like that. That'd be fantastic. If you didn't like it, equally, give it a thumbs down because if you didn't like it, you didn't like it. And every bit within your rights could give a thumbs down. And um, Throw a comment my way. Let me know if you like the video or what I could improve or what uh, what you think is okay or whatever. I, I, I don't know. I mean, I'm just here in my basement with what I got, which isn't a whole lot. Listen, take care of yourselves. Look after, look after yourself and everybody else close to you. And we'll see you for the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.